What is secret identity? What is secret identity? What is secret identity? What is secret identity? What is secret identities? I and I think a lot of other people grew up uh, in a world, to a certain extent, without heroes. You know, at least not Asian American heroes. And the place we turn, that I turn certainly, to uh, to look for, I don't know, maybe not inspiration per se, but a sense of the possible. You know, it was comic books. I mean, they were all about people who were, you know, greater than human, but with greater than human responsibility, you know, who hid their powers behind masks, who were in their real lives, normal and unnoticed, but in their superhero identities, their, their other lives, you know, were extraordinary. And that's something which I think most guys, most kids in general growing up, want to think about themselves. I think Asian Americans more so, because we are culturally seen as that sort of silent group, that group that is too easily ignored. And so looking at, at our issues through the lens of the superhero just seemed like it made sense. I think that's the one thing that's really been uh, missing in the industry. We have Asian Americans behind the scenes and we have Asian Americans buying it, but we never really see Asian American characters. And I think having that, putting us in front of the camera as it were, is an important thing. Basically we got together some of the top Asian American comic artists in the business and paired them with uh, Asian American writers, directors uh, from the literary, film, and television world. And what was born was uh, 26 original stories with uh, Asian American superheroes and protagonists at the forefront. The editors really did take on a much larger role and there's a universe that is being put together here. It's not just stories by some artists and writers thrown and slapped onto a page with a specific message to be said. And that message I would like to think is that we, we as Asian Americans need to be the hero every once in a while. Um, we have stories at length by theme, by topic, by subject. Two of the things we're doing in the book. One is taking history as it actually occurred and layering this other filter over it. You know, the sort of shadow history we're calling it in which we use the lens of superheroes to illuminate issues, real issues, that sometimes get overlooked when you just talk about them in sort of normal historical terms. And the second thing, of course, is that we are taking the experience of, of Asian Americans, you know, where we, we're people with a lot of masks, you know, um, a lot of identities that are both uh, external facing and internal facing and, and, you know, with a gap between the two and, and sort of using the, the metaphor of the superhero to really explore that part of ourselves. All right, no more talking heads. Let's show you guys exactly what's on the 200 pages sandwiched in between this glossy green piece of cardstock. My name is Professor Shen, and this is SI Anatomy 101. Cue music, here we go. We have actor Dustin Wen and artist Dustin Wen, who currently draws Batman for DC Comics, come up with a character called Agent Orange. From actress Keiko Gena from Gilmore Girls and artist Ming Doyle, we have a story called Learn to Share about an eight-year-old girl who's blind but can borrow the sight of people nearby her. Superstar Marvel writer Greg Pak and Wonder Woman artist Bernard Chang give us The Citizen. Then from actress Lin Chen from Saving Face and Paul Wei, we've got You Are What You Eat about a bulimic teen who receives a mystical belt from her grandmother. Writer Jean Yang wrote and created the book American Born Chinese, which was the only graphic novel ever to be nominated for a National Book Award. He teams up with artist Sunny Liu of Liquid City to give us the blue scorpion and Chung. These guys explore the whole Green Hornet and Kato sidekick dynamic in their story. Also exploring the sidekick dynamic is a story called James from director Michael Kang from West 32nd and The Motel with uh, Erwin Haya doing the art. Author Jamie Ford of Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet, currently in bookstores, teams up with Alexander Tarampi to give us Gaman. The story centers around a teenager slowly learning about his powers of invincibility. Actress Kelly Hu of X-Men 2 and The Scorpion King teams up with rock star comic artist Cliff Chang to give us Gia. Kaz Kabushi, creator of the Flight Anthology series, was gracious enough to create a character named Go for us. Greg LaRoque is someone that all of us editors grew up reading. He used to draw The Flash, amongst many other things, and he created a character named Trinity for us. Survivor Cook Islands winner Yul Kwan teams up with Diodato to create Cataclysm. Sorry Yul for using this photo of you, but you are one of the few people who actually have a superhero physique in real life in this anthology, so you need to show that off. Then we've got actor Leonardo Nam from He's Just Not That Into You. 
He was the one in all the ads that would say, I heard that MySpace is the new booty call. Teams up with Anthony Tan to give us shine. Then we've got my former co-star from Better Luck Tomorrow, Sun Kang, team out with Marvel superstar artist Billy Tan to give us the character Gaze. Christine Nori, creator of the critically acclaimed graphic novel Breaking Up, teams up with John Kuramoto to give us David Kim. Then hailing from Beantown, we have Tak Toyoshima, the creator and artist of the nationally syndicated daily comic strip Secret Asian Man. In his piece, Tak interviews comics legend Larry Hama, writer of the comic book G.I. Joe, and is the current consultant on the G.I. Joe film. But the most cool part, I think, is that he wrote all those little index file cards on the back of all the action figure packets. You know you collected them. Then as Jeff mentioned, we've got a group of stories that we classify under as shadow history. Stories inspired by actual events pertaining to Asian Americans. For example, Driving Steel takes place in the 1800s about the building of the Transcontinental Railroad. 9066 is about a Japanese American hero interned during World War II. Fellow SI editor Keith Chow's story Peril is inspired by the groundless incarceration of Dr. Wen Ho Lee. Here's where the country focuses on a special superpowered subdivision of the Fighting 442, which is currently to date the most highly decorated military unit in the history of the United States Armed Forces, largely comprised of Japanese American soldiers. Naeem and Glenn's story, No Exit, focuses on the superhero telling of the arrival of Islam in America. One of the two stories I wrote myself is The Hibakusha, which follows a group of young Asian American descendants from the survivors of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings, and they start developing abilities as a direct result of the bombs of World War II. The other story that I wrote, 16 Miles, is inspired by the real-life heroics of CNET editor James Kim. James and his family's car was stuck in a snowbank for eight days during a road trip. James walked 16 miles in the snow in search of help for his family. Although James perished of hypothermia, a helicopter pilot was able to find his wife and two daughters alive and well in the car after following James's 16-mile trail of footprints in the snow. Fellow SI editor Jeff Yang's Taking Back Troy is a superhero retelling of the murder of Vincent Chin, who was killed at the hands of disgruntled auto workers four days before his wedding day. But it's not just all guys, either. We have a lot of great, strong female heroes as well in the book, like Flight from Jeff Yang and Ian Kim, Parallel Penny from Anthony Wu, and Sampler from Jimmy Aquino and Erwin Haya. Another section of the book has stories like Twilight and the Wall Passer, tackling the subject and challenges of immigration. And pieces like Just Ordinary and Justified reveal that Asian American superheroes aren't necessarily exempt from being stereotyped themselves. But the book also has some lighter fare pieces, like S.O.S., which is a tongue-in-cheek commentary about outsourcing of superheroes to Bangalore. Meet Joe whimsically poses the question, what if all Asians did know math and martial arts? A day at Costume Co. has a super mom handling a hectic day of shopping with their super-powered family. And believe it or not, I still haven't covered all of the stories in the book. The strength of this particular anthology lies within the creative and talented minds of all these other contributors all telling separate and different stories, but moving towards one goal, to create a new generation of heroes that mirrors the fabric of our country. Welcome to the SI Universe. Okay, I may have overdone it on that last part. I'm just excited this thing's even coming out. All right, back to the talking heads. Yeah, we realized that it wasn't just a, an opportunity to do a book like this, it was kind of a responsibility that, you know, if we didn't do it, we weren't sure if it would be done, and we wanted to see it done. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how many times I've auditioned for this same type of guy, which is the awkward tech guy around women, but really good at his job. And this is just a great showcase of these three-dimensional stories of progressive Asian-American characters that can be further developed in film or television or ongoing comics. We're able to pull our resources together, draw from our different experiences and expertise, and got this thing done and, and I'm very proud of what we accomplished. As an Asian American working in, in comics, um, it's always nice to be part of something bigger than what you're doing. I mean, if you told me growing up that I would one day create a graphic novel alongside 65 other authors, I'd say, good call. Uh, a bunch of us had kids, someday Jerry will hopefully, <laughs> if they let him. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, you know, we just felt like the next generation shouldn't grow up the way that we did, you know, without that sense of there actually being people.
heroes that look like us. Secret Identities, the Asian-American Superhero Anthology.